Hi guys, I was asked on the World Machine forum how I made this terrain. Um, first off, this is a 16 by 16 kilometers terrain, and all the textures were made using nothing but World Machine. So, let's switch off this image. Um, like you can see down in the bottom corner, uh, that's the terrain, and if I move my mouse over here, you can see it full screen. Um, this is the advanced Perlin I started with, quite harsh and uh, yeah, not, not somewhere you would want to go. And here's the, the settings for the advanced fractal Perlin generator. Um, I don't know what to say about this. Um, it's uh, not so very advanced. It's basically big terrain with uh, some persistence. And I think I hit random seed quite a few times before I found something that I thought was interesting. Um, and I combined this using a uh, layout generator just to add some interesting peaks to the terrain. So here's the original and combined with those peaks you get a little bit more interesting things there. And a simple clamp to I don't know why I did that it's my first terrain but um, it did something I then used thermal weathering to add some more interesting features to the mountains here um, I don't think it does too much of a difference but there's something as I said, it was my first terrain, so I didn't know exactly what I was doing. Um, and then, I took it up a notch with erosion. As you can see here, I went head-on with some wild settings here. Um, and then I tried uh, using the extended overlay macro, which creates this beautiful um, texture map based on height and slopes and whatnot. So, um, all of this combined with the textures becomes this. Which is quite nice. Uh, I also tried a different terrain um, texture macro, which is terrain complete which did something completely different, as you can see when I toggle between them. So let's see that in full screen. Uh, this one adds a lot of snow on the tops and uh, it's also a nice, nice way to uh, visualize this terrain. But for my, my um, render I went with uh, let's see this one which I then set up in Lightwave I uh, exported all the, the different um, settings which was a height map, a beauty pass, a color map without sh shading at all just the colors, ambient occlusion uh, a few masks and then I combine them all in Lightwave to create this. I also believe I used uh, some HDR image to to generate a really soft look. Um, I could take this a bit further with uh, adding trees and rocks and uh, I don't know. I have done this before um, but I'd really like to get into terrain design and creation.